I am the fifth in our immediate family to be diagnosed. My father died in 1999. My sister was diagnosed in 2000. She lived until last year in October. Um, I have an older sister who is living with ALS, Jim, who is living with ALS for eight years, and another brother, Richard, who was diagnosed a month ago. The hardest part about being diagnosed with ALS is telling your kids when you are familial because you are telling them that they have a 50-50 chance of dying of the same thing they're gonna watch us die of, and it's tough. For me and a lot of our siblings, we might, we might not see a cure for this, but we're all pushing very hard to make sure that there is one for our kids. We work with the ALS Association. We work, we've done our own benefits. We did two benefits early on and made a quarter of a million dollars and donated that all toward research. But we are fighters. We're, we're not giving up. We're using a lot of energy to find out what's narrowing down some of the things that are, are going on with clinical trials. If you have a rose and it's a bud, it takes a lot of energy to start opening it, but once you do, it just flies open. And that's where we're at. Once that it starts opening up and they start finding things, there's so much potential for learning more. So I think we're, we're here, we're doing the right thing.